Um, Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Um, today our group will be present about titanium dioxide in cosmetic. Um, so what is titanium dioxide? Titanium dioxide is a naturally occurring mineral found in the, in the Earth's crust. Because of its white color, opaqueness and ability to refract light, the ingredient is often used as a pigment brightener and opacifier, which is an ingredient that makes a formulation more opaque. Titanium dioxide is also a UV filter and so is an effective active ingredient in sunscreens. It's often used in, in cosmetic loose and pressed powders, especially mineral powder cosmetic. In addition to other cosmetic, uh, like lotion, toothpaste, and soap. So next, I will pass to Kalida. Okay, uh, we will move on to the factors that what makes titanium dioxide so attractive. First and foremost, titanium dioxide, or its famous name CL77891, as it is known in this market, in one of the cosmetic industry, best kept secret, or we can assume it as the secret ingredient. Having been used by beauty brands and skincare manufacturers alike for decades. In that time, it has been used to enhance one hand colors and formulation in a number of ways. Firstly, um, it exists in many colors as titanium is one of the elements in transition methods. The use of pigment from titanium dioxide with other colors give intensity and brightness to decorative cosmetics as well as allowing manufacturers to create many different shades to suit all skin type in foundation and lipstick. Next, it is light. What does it mean by its light? Titanium dioxide helps soak up oils in the skin while lending it an opacity that reduces any unwanted shine from the excess face sebum from our skin. It is a key selling point for many matte-based cosmetics. Uh, it is light on skin which makes you feel like you didn't wear anything on your face. Um, in addition, the ultraviolet ray, uh, non-pigment from titanium oxide, dioxide is a key ingredient in sun care products, absorbing and scattering both UVA and UVB rays, which prevents such sunburn and premature aging. This can be harnessed in cosmetic too, giving UV protection properties to creams, foundations, and lipstick. Next, the texture. Uh, it, in its non-pigment form, titanium dioxide particles become transparent, helping to create such smoother and sheer formulation with a better spreadability. Its opaque qualities are also crucial to form formulation that conceal blemishes. Last but not least, the stain power. As an insoluble mineral, that means it is powerful, uh, waterproof. Uh, non pigment from titanium dioxide is uh, prized for its long-lasting and waterproof properties, which is important for sun care product in particular. So, um, we will proceed our presentation uh, by Safia. Okay, so now we are moving on to the cosmetic product that contain the titanium dioxide in their ingredients. So here are the example of the cosmetic product that contain titanium dioxide in the ingredient. For the first one is the sunscreen, compact powder, and the loose powder. There are many are the example of the cosmetic product that contain titanium dioxide. For the examples are bronzers, blushes, eyeshadow, mascaras, lipstick, and others. Uh, why are these uh, this cosmetic product containing titanium dioxide. This is because it has the, it has its versatility and natural benefits, 
and as the tanning dresser is one of their favorite in the cosmetic manufacturers. Uh, in the last five years, uh, the tanning dresser has featured in more than 20,000 cosmetics that have been launched. Okay, so for the next one is the pros and cons of using the tanning dresser. Okay, for the first one is the tanning dioxide is a great sunscreen active for sensitive redness prone skin. Okay, for this one, uh, the tanning dioxide is in it, which means it will not react with other ingredients. This allows it to be used in product applied to the most sensitive areas of, uh, of our body, including around the eyes, eyelid, and mouth with a greatly reduced risk of allergic reaction. For the second one is the shape and the size of their particles boost sun protection and do not cause skin damage. For this one, um, according to the Skin Cancer Foundation, uh, using sunscreen containing tantanin dioxide can help prevent the occurrence of skin damage such as skin cancer. Uh, Dano skill Titanium dioxide become transparent to visible light while serving as an efficient UV light absorber. Because the particle size is so small, nano titanium dioxide does not reflect visible light but does absorb UV light. This uh, enabling a transparent barrier that protects the screen from the sun harmful ray. For the third one is uh, nanoparticles of titanium dioxide can cause lung damage when inhaled. This is cons of the using titanium dioxide. Uh, for the example of product that uh, can that contain nanoparticles of titanium dioxide, such as uh, powdered based uh, cosmetic product and spray product. This is because uh, the users can inhale the nanoparticles of titanium dioxide and the nanoparticles of titanium dioxide can react with the alveolus in our body and cause lung damage. And the fourth one is the nanoparticles of titanium dioxide also pose danger to marine ecosystem. So next is Shashda. So I will talk about how to approach titanium dioxide in products. There are three ways. First, avoid titanium dioxide in powder cosmetics, including loose and pressed powder, eyeshadows, and blush. Second, some sunscreen will say no nano on the label. Choose those, and if the label doesn't specify if, if titanium dioxide is nano particle size, call or email the company and ask the particle size of the active sunscreen in ingredient. Last but not least, Look for the made safe sale on products, which means they, they are made without, sun, without unsafe titanium dioxide and other ingredients linked to human health and ecosystem harm. So I will pass to the next presenter. For the conclusion is titanium dioxide is non-toxic harmless. Um, it will not cause any negative impact on the human body in the field of cosmetics. A variety of whitening products are mainly added whitening ingredients are zinc white and lead white. However, because the lead white contains heavy metal elements, if the long-term use, the skin will be dull and no more luster and more aging to bring greater problems to the skin by Titanium dioxide is no such shortcomings. So the application of the titanium dioxide uses in cosmetic industry is increasing. That's all from us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.